Hey guys, how's it going? So guess what we're doing today? We are gonna be cooking some rice in the rice cooker using the little battery. It's jasmine rice. I'm gonna be using what came with the little rice cooker. So I'm gonna put one of these scoops of rice and we're gonna see if the Blue Eddy battery can handle the rice cooker. Cook me some rice. See, so I put one of those scoops and then I'm gonna put two of water. So we shall see you guys. All right, time to cook this baby up. We got the water set, the rice, everything's ready to go. I'm just gonna plug it in here and then turn my Blue Eddy on. And this is the Blue Eddy EB3A 600 watts. 268 watt hours and I'm starting at 99% so let's turn the AC on there it is it's on now it's starting to draw some power the rice cooker is on warm mode I haven't clicked on the cook mode just yet so it's gonna spike up it's a 300 watt um, rice cooker it's a little bitty rice cooker now let's click on the the cook mode the little button there and now you see it's spiking up you guys are just gonna have to excuse the background noise i have the window unit the ac window unit going it is a hot day so you're gonna hear that in the background but yeah i'm just gonna set this rice cooker up and just get to it see if we can if we can cook some rice with this little battery i started at 12.09 it's 12.12 12 right now Typically, the rice cooker is about 15-ish minutes. And then, if you wanna kinda check on it, it's still pulling 288 watts. It hasn't boiled yet. It is 12-12, so 9, 10, 11, 12, it's only been like three minutes, so. But it's already getting cloudy here, so the element is heating up and it's doing its thing. So in about 15, 20 minutes, we shall see, because we're already at 91%. I just wanna see if I'm able to cook some rice with this little unit. Because we all know we can charge our phones many times, plus laptops or run different things, but I wanna know these higher wattage appliances, see if, it, if it's possible to cook some rice. Because if it is, I can charge my phone on a road trip several times of course that's not a problem with these units but can i cook some rice can i fry something up real quick can i make some oatmeal in here and use it for about 10 15 20 minutes with this little unit that is 600 watts if it's possible then this is really nice because i can take it inside a library it's light it's lightweight I can carry it with me, make breakfast, heat up some water for my coffee, do different things like that. And then if I happen to be at a restaurant, like a fast food restaurant that has some plugs, I can always charge it up. Or, you know, typically a library will let you charge up these little units. It's not a problem. So if you don't have solar, which I do now, but I need to set that up on top of my van. Um, that's what I can use not only for charging up my laptop and my phones but I can actually cook a quick meal or reheat something in the rice cooker if it goes through and I'm able to cook the rice then I know I can cook just about everything in it with just this little unit so I will bring you back when the rice is all bubbly and we'll see what percentage we're at so now it is 12:15. And we are at 84%, so it's draining the battery just a bit faster than I would like, but it is only a 600 watt. This is a 300 watt, and it's pulling close to it. So 288 watts is what it's drying right now. All right, you guys, it is starting to bubble up and boil here, and let's see what we have 67% and it is 12.23. Ooh, it's getting bubbly. Look at that. So 
far so good. And we're still at 288. It's drawing 288 watts. And what I like to do is just put one of these rags, just kind of, I know I have the cord all messed up, you guys. It shouldn't be right in front of it, but for filming purposes, I did it that way. All right, and my smart self figured out, look what I can do. My gosh, turn this baby around and it'll start splashing that way. Sometimes ah, common sense is not that common. Anyway, so now it's facing that way and not towards the core. Yeah. All right, y'all. The water is almost all evaporated, but it's still bubbling there. You guys can see the little bubbles going. It is 12.28. See how much charge we have. We're at 54%, not too bad. So I'm assuming the rice cooker might go another five-ish minutes before it's actually done. So, but we shall see. All right, y'all, we are at 12.30 and it's been about 20 minutes. The rice is still going, it's still cooking. It should be done anytime now. You can hear a light humming noise. You probably can't hear it over the, the AC unit that's in the window here, but it just kicked on at 44%. And it is 12.33. But we're still on cook mode. It hasn't clicked up to warm yet. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know the the fan in here kicked on. You guys, I just heard it click up. Now it's on warm mode. It is 1235. So we started this at 1209. Went down to 40% from 99. Now it's only pulling 38. But now since it's done, I'm just going to shut that off. And unplug it. But yeah, it went down to 40%, you guys. So it took approximately 60% of this battery to cook some rice from 12.09 to 12.35. Now I typically just leave the lid on and let it just cool off a bit and it just keeps cooking. But as far as the rice cooker, the rice is cooked, all the water is evaporated and it took 60%. So I'm still able to charge my phone quite a bit, even my laptop if I need to. And then, you know, if you guys go to work or if you have a way of recharging it, or if you go somewhere where you have a plug available, top off your battery, which shouldn't take too long. It's a small unit and then do it again the next day. So if you're an extreme minimalist and you want to use solar power, to be able to cook something with the rice cooker and charge your phones all within one charge. This is a great little unit, 600 watts, and this is 300 watts. And as you saw, it was 288, 289, what it was using when it was on cook mode. I highly recommend this, you guys. Good little unit. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. You can also join and be part of our coffee club. We would love to have you. Thanks for all the love and support.